and welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Saved Columns in OBIEE. My name is Carol Krajewski. I'm a consultant at NRL Consulting, and today I want to talk about how to save columns, especially after you spent hours figuring out that perfect formula. This can really be a time saver if that column is used in multiple analyses. Why save a column? What are we, prisoners in Azkaban that we can just sit and create complex formulas over and over again? Is that our punishment? I don't think so. If we have a complex formula, especially one that you know needs to be in multiple analyses, create it once, save the column, and you can use it over and over again as long as the analysis uses the same subject area. And if a change is needed, which happens all the time, you go in, change the saved column, and voila! All of the other analyses are updated. Why would you not want to save your hard work? Let me show you how it's done. I'll start by selecting the new menu and analysis. And I'll select the sample basic subject area. And normally when I'm creating a column, I'm using the measure column, that little bit of gold where all my numbers are stored. And to make life simpler and to save the typing in your ears, I did actually copy paste a formula to my clipboard. So I'll simply paste that formula in. I'm going to select a custom column header. And there is my formula. Now granted, this is a very simplistic example of a formula, but hopefully you get the idea as you, you know, we can write very complex formulas as well. From the properties icon for this particular column, I'm then going to select save column as and save this here in our catalog, everything is saved that we want shared for users to be able to use as they build analyses and dashboards in the components folder. So I'll go ahead and then I actually have created this column before and I'm simply going to select that as my name, but normally you would of course type in a name. Again, I'm trying to reduce the typing because that pounding on my keyboard seems to get recorded very easily. So I will select this. Um, since I am overwriting, I'm prompted if I want to. Yes, I do. Okay, there's my saved column. The real power, now that's great, saved column, woohoo. The real power comes when you build an analysis for the same subject area where you just save that column. And I'm going to simply come down to my catalog area in the lower left corner and in my components folder where I saved my wonderful column to subject area contents, here's the subject area I'm working with, and there's my column, actual versus budget. And I'll pull that just that quickly into my analysis. So there's my column with its very complex formula, and I don't have to struggle to create that and recreate it in subsequent analyses. The other cool thing is that if it needs to change, as you know, things do frequently change, you can edit the saved column and all the reports that are using it will automatically get updated. So it is a very powerful tool to keep in your toolbox. Thanks for joining me today. Please check out other videos from NRL. Thanks for watching.